this is Patrick Vernell from Brilliant Directories. In today's video, we're going to learn how to create a custom form and to link it to the lead management software. In order to get started, let's go to the admin of our website. And from here, we're going to go take a look at the forms manager. In previous video, we already showed you how to edit the get match form, which is also linked to the member contact form. But if you don't see the get match form here, just email us at support. We'll go ahead and copy this over to your website. So let's go ahead and click on that. What I want to show you is I want to show you the settings that we need to emulate when we go ahead and we create the custom form. So we're going to go ahead and click on edit form. And here we can see the lead settings. So when we create a new form, we're going to create a new name. We're going to create a new nickname and so forth. But when we scroll to the bottom, you're going to see that we have both a primary key, the database table, and the variable name. Without a variable name, you're basically not going to capture any of the information. This needs to be tied to each form that you want to link to the lead system. If you purchase the advanced settings, you'll actually be able to create different email flows. But with the default package, basically you can only have just one. So as long as we have these settings, we'll be good, we'll be good to go. What I find easier to do is I find it easier to copy the form since it already has all the settings that we want. So here we have the settings. The only thing I need to do is I need to make sure that the variable is unique and I'm going to go ahead and rename it to ask a question. Now, if we scroll down, you'll see all the settings we were looking at before have also been copied. So when I go ahead and save the form, we can now see that we have a form with the exact same fields as the get match form. So when we go to the form manager and we look at the forms available to us, we'll now see both the ask a question and the get matched. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to customize this form to my liking. Some people like to have an ask a question section in their website. So in order for me to make this easier for people to, to fill out, I'm just going to remove some of these items. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these fields. I'll leave the phone number and the email, of course, so that people can be contacted. I don't necessarily want them to have a location input. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove this widget, which is the category dropdown. It's not relevant. I'll go ahead and remove the category, subcategory, sub subcategory. I'll change it from at enter a message to ask a question. I'll remove the map as well. And the additional replies is no longer needed. Okay, so now when we look, we have just the basic information I need for an ask a question form. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Fantastic. So if I want to call this form, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a new page from scratch. So we're going to go to content, add new page. So we're going to go ahead and add an H1. We'll put ask a question. We'll give it a URL, ask question for testing purposes. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to call the form that we just created. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to call the variable name of the form itself. In this case, we just added a two to the end. So we're going to go ahead and save this page. And now when we go to view page, you'll see that the new form that we created is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this out. we're going to submit it. And now that it's been submitted, if we go to the leads matching section of our website, you'll see that we were able to successfully link a completely custom form to the lead system, which then will allow us to match that form to the different members of our website using the matching tool of the lead system. I hope you found this helpful. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.
Thank you very much.